what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can split uh, a single audio file into separate tracks now if you've recorded a complete full album or a concert or something like that and you want to segment off tracks of that single recording then I'm going to show you how to do it in Audacity today it's pretty straightforward and easy to do and uh, I've been using Audacity for a long, long time, and it's a very powerful tool, and it's free. Now, I know there's a load of different ways you can go about doing this. Uh, so uh, th there's loads of different types of software, and you use whatever you feel comfortable with. But Audacity is the one I'm going to be using for this video, and plus it's free. So let's get started anyway. So first off, we're going to need to open up Audacity. And there we go. Audacity is now open. And uh, we're going to be putting in our audio file. Now I'll show you how to do this in two ways, uh, manually and also automatically uh, finding the tracks. Okay. So what we need to do now is offer up uh, our audio file. So let me open this up and get our audio file. So I've just dragged and dropped this into Audacity here and we'll just let this load in. Okay, so we've got our file loaded into Audacity now, and as you can see, it's a fair size. It's over an hour and 30 minutes long. Uh, it's quite a hefty uh, file. Uh, but as you can see here, it doesn't show any gaps, so how are we going to find them? Well, what you need to do is zoom into the actual audio file, and this will allow you to see the spaces. Now, what we need to do here, there's a couple of ways of doing this. You can either click on the actual zoom tool here, or there's the little zoom plus and minus tool. Now we want to use the plus tool here to zoom in. And as we start zooming into the audio file, you'll start to see some breaks appear. And these breaks are the gaps for the tracks. Um, so what we need to do here, and every sort of audio file that you record will have a little space uh, in there. And this is the actual space that we're going to be adding in our labels or track uh, splitters in. So we'll do the manual way first. So first off, we're going to go right at the very beginning here, right at the beginning of the track, and just click on it there. And what we want to do is go to Tracks, and then add a label at this section. This will add in a little label here. Now we can put in what we like. You can put in the name of the track if you know that. And if you don't, you can just put Track 1 or 1, or whatever you want to do so we're just going to put track one just for this video but you can put in what you like so track one is there now we need to pull this along until we see another space and then you just click on here go tracks and then add track to the selection and then we can put track two and we just continue going along until we've completed all the tracks so you just go through here and there's one here and you could take more time again you can put in your track names if you wish and there we go we can copy and paste these as well if you wanted to do that but that's how you can put in your tracks manually and what you would do is go all the way through so I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that okay so I've got all my labels in here now and I've put the actual names of the songs in as you can see here we've got the names in so all we need to do now is go to File and Export uh, Multiple. And again, uh, split files based on the labels, which is what we've created. Overwrite existing files is ticked. This is set to uh, WAV. And also you can change other uh, file formats here if you wish, uh, depending on what you want to do. So if you want uh, MP3, you will need to put in uh, a DLL file for this, but that's fine. It gives you the option to download that. And also you need to choose the location where you want to save it to. And you can see here using label and track name. That's because we've put the track name in there. So I'm going to choose a location. So I've got my location set up and I'm going to click on export. And then it lets you uh, change the uh, metadata right here. So if you want to add in more stuff here, you can do. And change whatever you want to do here. Uh, if you want to spend a lot of time doing this but I'm just going to say OK here and I'm just going to go through every single song by clicking OK 
and then that will start to uh, transfer those across as MP3 uh, 128 kbps. And this will take a bit of time, so just come back when this is complete. So that's now complete. And uh, what we can do now is take a look at the actual files. And as you can see here, they've all been separated. And I've named them all. So what happens if you want to do this uh, automatically? Let me quickly show you how you can do this automatically. You will still need to put in the uh, labels, uh, label names, but it actually uh, separates them all quickly for you. So here we are back with our file with uh, no um, labels in here. So I'm going to go to Analyze and then Silence Finder. And you can see here, you can treat uh, the audio below this level as silence, 26.0, uh, and you can use the slider uh, to change this. Uh, minimum duration silence, and this here you can change as well. And also label placement seconds uh, before silence ends, and you can see 0 0.3. Now, it depends on what you want to set this up. You, you will take a bit of time to uh, get this how you like it. Sometimes 0 0.5 is okay. Um, I'm just going to leave it like this and then click OK and see what happens. It will then scan this file and, and put in some uh, labels. As you can see here, it started to do that. And all we need to do here now, you can see the labels here. And again, uh, it's put all the labels right in, right near the end. And if you want to tweak those settings, it will end up in the middle here. But you've got to be careful because some of these are very, very close. And it will take a bit of tweaking, but as you can see, all you need to do then is just put in your label name, uh, what you want to call it, and you're pretty much good to go. You can see it's uh, put two in inside here, which is no good, and that's because we've left them settings as is, and each file is going to be different, so you will need to tweak that. And if you want to just remove one of these, that's fine. All you need to do here, like I've showed you before, is you can slide them along here and move them into position if you wish. Uh, and if you want to delete them, you just right click on these and delete, just like so. Okay, and that's pretty much it. That's how you can uh, create uh, single track files from one audio file. Uh, and this is how you can do it in Audacity. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian for brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also, if you've got any video requests or problems with your computers or anything like that, you can always head over to the forum. That's where the uh, community is. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for continued support. Bye for now.